the first thing you need to do is look for money. All this, look for school, look for, go and look for money. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Temi, if it's your first time here, welcome to this channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to relocate to the United Kingdom as a student. So currently, I'm on a student visa and that's how I got here. I'm here for my master. So I'm going to share the things some of you guys cannot Google. I mean, there are many information out there. The little I am able to give you right here, I hope it will be helpful for you. Some things you might need, some things you might not need, some things you might have heard, some things you might not have heard before. So I will advise you stay tuned. And in fact, bring out a pen and paper, write down this stuff. So please do not depend on your brain. Always write stuff down. I always have this book. So if you are ready, let's begin this video. First things first, I'm going to use this opportunity to thank my parents because the money that they spent on my head to, you know, transport me down here is a lot of money. So I want to say a huge thank you to my parents, my family, my sisters, my brothers, Every single person who has contributed to my journey, thank you so much. God bless you all. God will replenish your pocket a thousand folds in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let's begin. So I'm going to be doing the two types of you know, student relocation. That is if you are relocating as one person, that's me, or if you're relocating as a family. So recently, the UK has introduced this um, program or should I call it a I don't know if it's route or route please whichever one it is where you can re relocate with your um, primary dependent so your primary dependent is if you are married you can relocate with your wife or your husband and then your children even when you want to come and study for master so those are the two types of relocation I'll be explaining in this video keyword I'm talking about student relocation so firstly if you are relocating as a student the first thing you need to do say so don't let anybody deceive you don't let anybody tell you anything the first thing you need to do is look for money all this look for school look for go and look for money <laughs> go and fight because getting a school getting an admission or getting an offer into a school to study is like almost the least of the things you are going to do is the money money is the most important thing so when you have your money at least have a, a total sum of money you are about to start the process with that's very important then you can start searching for a school search for schools where you will be able to afford the cost of living in that area so for instance if you want to look for a school around london you know that you are going to be paying cool cash because cost of living in, in london is a lot that's why i settled for somewhere around manchester because right here i could afford the cost of living find a school where you are going to do your masters or your phd apply do you know get your papers sorted and apply i'm going to do a separate video on how to like a step by step application on how to apply to universities in uk but for now i'm just going to give you like the rundown apply to the school wait for your offer um by the time you're waiting for your offer please be looking for more money you know that money that you had before hold it okay hold it and then keep looking for money because in a matter of a month three weeks to a month you get a response or even two weeks you get a response you get your response you have to pay your deposit the it depends on how much your school tells you to pay you pay your deposit and then you have to fulfill the conditions that are in the that are in your conditional offer once you fulfill that conditions your offer becomes unconditional before you even start doing anything initially i will advise that if you don't have a passport make sure you get a passport even if it's expired you can, you, because you'll be using your passport number to apply for even your school application so you need a passport it is very important to get a passport before you start any application at all just go and get a passport it's too important once you pay your deposit and you fulfilled, fulfilled your conditions the next thing you need to do is go for your tuberculosis test it is very important and like i said earlier in this video up here where i was mentioning the cost of moving as a student to the united kingdom i mentioned that it's 
a designated place like you cannot go, just go and do it anywhere there is a particular place where you have to go and do it it's in GRA Keja it's called IOM that's what I can remember about it but I'll put it on the screen when I check the certificate my own certificates it's called IOM you get your tuberculosis test done and I'm not going to be mentioning cost or price of anything here if you want to know how much all these things are please check out the video I linked up make sure you do check that out and it is important you get your tuberculosis test done because it's part of the credentials you use to apply for your visa when you're applying for your visa you need to pay your IHS that's your health insurance you need to pay your IHS alongside your visa when you're applying for your visa you need to have your proof of funds that's like the cost of living here and the balance of your school fees in your your accounts for at least 28 days 28 days or 30 days to be safe 30 days so you need to have it in either your account your dependent account or your parents account if it's in your parents account your mother or father will write a, a letter of consent that she she's going to sponsor you while you're there or he is going to sponsor you while you're there and the bank details and whatsoever please eh? <laughs> I don't know how to beg you again I don't know how I'm going to beg you don't forge statement of accounts it will not benefit you they are going to cross check I mean UK they do not joke with their money they don't joke with their coins do not forge statement of accounts don't try to be smart with it that's what i told you the most important thing is money don't let anybody deceive you go and find money so if all of that checks out if all of that checks out the next thing you need to start doing is start um applying sorry start booking your tickets rather book your ticket as a student um you can get student deals there are so many deals you know that happen airlines they give student discounts to and fro you know return tickets so many of them out there try and google student deals try and google student deals that you can use to um apply for sorry what am i saying apply like i used to get um a return ticket or a one-way ticket to to uk and then when you get here you can pay the rest of your tuition pay your house rent and just begin to settle down start to shop for things start to buy some of the things that you didn't bring here and um as we all know before you move most times you begin to sell your things make sure your papers check out in fact make sure you get your visa before you start selling your things because sometimes there might be delay while they are trying to process your visa if some things are not clear especially if you have like a student's gap if there is a gap in like a long gap in from where you finished your first degree to when you're applying for masters for instance if you finish your first degree in year 2006 and you're applying for masters in 2022 they will want to ask or they will ask what you've been doing so those type of things can cause delay you need to get papers to show what you've been doing for that whole period where you've been working and what you've been doing with your life so they'll ask you for those type of things so you need to hold on if you want to sell any of your things just hold on till you get your visa before you can start selling but in my own case i graduated from uni in 2009 2019 sorry i graduated in 2019 my own um, application was very straightforward everything checked out it was you know straightforward 2019 my student gap was like two years so they didn't get any mail to ask me what i've been doing for two years so it came out really fast once you've um, gotten your ticket you've traveled down to uk make sure you complete your enrollment make sure you get your prp get your nin number nin number yes get your register with your gp those are the things that are most important like especially your school enrollment that's to show you are, you are a full student already you've completed it get your brp and all other things and you're allowed to work as a student you're allowed to work for 20 hours per week as a student do not ex 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 exist <sighs> do not exceed 
the, the 20 hours stated to work as a student all right so you are allowed to work for 20 hours as a student and you know make some money that you can use to take care of yourself once in a while and you know get stuff for yourself so now i'll be moving to how to relocate as a family i relocated as a one person like a single applicant then if you are relocating as a family the main applicant which is the person applying for the masters is the main applicant you are to show that you are married you are legally legally married i don't know if customary customary marriage is something that they can use probably they'll ask you for pictures they'll ask you for pictures of where you get i don't know but most of the time once i've seen is where they ask for um certificate marriage certificate or wedding certificate the one they give you for your court wedding that's what i know they always ask for so you need to provide that for your spouse and your children you need to show that they are your children probably with the same surname i don't think they ask for dna it's not that deep you need to provide um like their passports obviously before you can get passports for your children in nigeria there are things that you have to undergo to show they are your kids so once you can get your children's passport it should be fine that that's like the only difference between um traveling as a family and traveling as a single applicant or relocating as a family or re and relocating as a, as a single applicant and then the other difference is that your proof of funds needed to apply for visa because you most likely apply with your other um primary dependents with your wife or your husband and your kids you will need a lot more proof of funds so alongside alongside the balance of your school fees you need to provide proof of funds for all your other dependents including yourself so that's why you need to provide more proof of funds before you can apply for visa for um all your family members and it's going to be in one account also that's like the only difference the major difference that is um between traveling as a family and traveling as a single applicant but there are some cases where you know the main applicant gets a scholarship um sometimes the company might not sponsor your primary applicant so you might have to still foot the bills of your primary applicant or primary dependent rather you need to still foot the bills of your primary dependent so that's why i mentioned before i started this video i mentioned that beyond all things before you can move here the most important thing you need to get is money you need funds funds is like the first and most important thing you need if you need any more information if anything is not clear you can leave comments in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer them i'll be more than glad to answer your questions and if i do not still answer your questions please make sure you check out the uk government website everything is always explicit to the t if you don't understand anything please go there read read digest understand everything that is written there also feel free to check out more of my videos that i have filmed hopefully i'll be able to film more videos regarding relocation or relocating to the united kingdom as a student either as a single applicant or a family application and if you have other video ideas for me please make sure you mention them in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i hope i was being helpful enough if you have any more ideas for me remember to mention them in the comment section below and remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed i mean now is the time for you to subscribe because i will be filming more videos concerning relocation i have a lot of questions many people have asked me and also i'll be showing you guys my journey how i relocated here with videos of my step-by-step -step, um application and how everything went that should be the next video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye